Hey, hello guys. This is Karthik from ExitAutomation.com. This is part 13 of our Code or UI video series. So in this part, we are going to get all the controls from any given application using UI test controls. So the last part we discussed about UI test controls and how we can work with it. So in this part, let's try using some of very useful functions like UI test control collections, which will try to get all the controls, finding all the matching controls of any given application, and then displaying those properties of a particular controls collection into the console.write line. And this would be very helpful if you want to get all the different controls of a particular application at any given time. And if you want to verify whether its property is really matching as your expectations. So you can iterate those values using for each loop or you can also use link language integrated query if you want to. So I'm going to use link to iterate all the values out from a collection and then I'm going to display it right into the console.write line of our output. Let's not waste our time and let's flip back to Visual Studio and discuss what I really mean about this slide. So this is the same project which we have been working from part 10, 11, and 12. So what I'm going to do here is let's open the calculator. So my intention here is to get all the control names from this calculator and display it in my console.write line. That's a very simple intention. So how I'm going to achieve this? So I'm going to use a very useful method which is available for any given control called find matching control. So my intention is to find all the button controls, right? So what I'm going to do is, I'm, not, I'm just going to leave this window as it is, but I'm going to come right here. And then, as I said, there is a very useful function called find matching controls. So you can see it returns a collection of all the Microsoft Visual Studio test tools dot UI testing tool dot UI test controls that matches the specified search properties and filter properties. Great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all the matching controls. I'm not going to specify any search and filter properties here, but because if I specify any search or filter properties, then it will be returning me only that particular control. So if I specify the search or filter property for a button eight, then it will return me only one control, just nothing but the button eight. But my intention is to get all the controls out from the calculator. So I'm going to just return all the controls as a raw. Great. So what is its return type? It's actually returning me to a UI test control collection. So why don't I create a UI test control collection Oops. instance here. Let's say controls. Great. And then my intention is to select its name. So for that, I'm going to use link language integrated query. Some people call it as link. Some people call it as link queue, but I call it as link. So if you want to read more about link, just go to executeautomation.com and search for the links topic. So I have, I've already opened this in my website. You can see that there is a select and select many method. So these methods are actually, you know, select all the uh, properties out from a collections. So you can read about the select and select many methods if you want to. So there is a category for a link you can see right here. You can study the complete link collections from here. It's just very basic. It will have more than 12 to 13 uh, topics. It's a series so you can read from there. So what I'm going to do is my intention is to get all the values out from a control, right? So I'm going to use the var type. It's an implicitly typed variable. So I'm just going to use a var type and I'm going to say controls, control, and, or maybe you can say it's a control collection. And then from control collection, I'm going to get the controls. That should be a best name for that. All right. And then I'm going to say control collection dot there is a method called select. So this is a I enumerable type. It returns an I enumerable type and it is a a link method all right so you can see it select you can see it projects an element in the sequence of incorporating the elements index so I'm not going to project anything right here I'm just going to select it so I'm going to use a 
lambda expression here so x dot and you can specify what kind of uh, property you can grab grab the name property so that it will display me all the names of the control as you can see here 8 9 10 11 12 etc all right we got all the names and then we can iterate through all the value and then for that I'm going to use the for each and again I'm going to use the var type so so simple like this controls and this is going to be the control just one control and then I'm going to use console dot right line of control dot or maybe it's going to return me the name so maybe if I do a two string method here that should be fine so let's go to the test explorer and if I run this just I'm testing it whether this code really works or not so if I run it it opens up the calculator for me and it performed the operation as expected but if you go back to the output and if you see here you can see there's a lot of names displayed like minimize maximize close memory clear backspace 7410 memory recall clear entries etc so these are the property names for all the button controls which is available in my calculator you see here right and some people in their websites they try to you know say that what what is the number of controls which is available in my application at any given time it's pretty simple right since it's a collection you can straight away uh, you know display that value as well so let's say if I want to display the number of controls in my AT is and probably specify this way and then you can say controls dot sites or control dot count all right great that's it and now if you just you know go to the test explorer and then if you run this test all right you can see the number of uh, controls in my IoT is 31 which is great and you got the whole count and also the properties of your controls right into your console dot right line which is great and this is very helpful and handy while you work with a large project and also doing framework developments that's it guys that's all for today thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day